we will start from your formal introduction in your formal introduction uh, you need to include your name your hometown and uh, your profession this is your official mic for today so i am stefania lombardo and i am from liverpool england and i am a fashion design student i'm elizabeth wood i'm from wales and i'm a fashion student i'm harriet i'm a fashion design student and i'm from london now another question will be about india but before it i will ask you how has been your overall experience with me um it's been a good experience because we found out that like tripods set on like the solar system which we didn't know about so we learned something new i guess it was good because before we were really confused about the whole place but then it explains more in like the paintings and to what tripods are about and what india is about it was a very passionate and informative experience and we learned a lot Do you guys know my name? <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> okay, my name is Mantan by the way. So, uh, if talk about me, uh, I'm just planning to organize coffee tours at this place. Uh, I will be making uh, local artists interact with the uh, all art and culture lovers here. So, that's what my basic plan is. Uh, as of now, uh, whoever come here, I just uh, irritate them by telling them about this uh, architecture. <laughs> so, this is what I really do. Uh, I have not got any serious job as of now. but yeah i am trying to do that mm-hmm. so uh, this is basic about me now i would like to ask you how has been your overall experience in india okay and um, we've only been to jaipur up to now but it's been a good experience it's a unique place and it's colorful would you like to tell me anything negative about uh, your experience in india or jaipur right <laughs> now um there's nothing really negative it's just different thought from home like the animals on the streets we didn't have that okay. but it's not negative it's just different okay. It's like a really big culture shock but like it's good cuz it I don't know it shows you a different way of living and like how different people live here and it's really interesting like all the history and the religion and it's a really nice colorful architectural place I guess I really like the um community in India cuz it's quite different to where we live it's quite a uh, independent place but here there's a real sense of community and oneness on the streets So I really like that. Um and yeah the it's like a sensory explosion really like your sound, your eyes, your sight, everything's going on at once. So it's that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah we still got a lot to see as well, haven't we? So we're excited to see some more. So uh, did you get it what is my product? Uh, what do I do? We want to do like make people understand in the museum what is like what it's about and what I thought about as well, like the art. and how it's supposed to go. Oh, okay. Like doing like tours and letting people understand what yeah. the museum is about. Yeah. Now uh, I'm looking for your advice. How can I promote it for that? How can you promote local artists? Yeah. Artist? yeah. Uh, actually earlier I used to visit uh, so many tourist places but uh, I felt like it was not working very well because I am not a typical salesman. When I used to go there I used to tell them directly, "I'm um, sir, I'm not a typical salesman. I have got a small product to show you but I don't know how to sell it. Uh, can you just uh, see it once and let me know how is it and would you like to be part of it?" So uh, if you have any idea like how can I approach them or how uh, I have got a website how can I promote that website as well There's the people who run like the exhibitions here yeah. would you not approach them to see if it would be something they'd be interested in doing having tours going round Do you know what I'm saying uh, No okay. Yeah so basically because it's quite a confusion place like when we came here we didn't expect this Okay. Maybe you should speak to the people at the desk like the reception oh. and maybe like ask if you can do tours and then that way they might think of hiring you and pay you to do that. If oh, not yeah. then I don't know. Cuz <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. as going to profit of it. Yeah. You, you wouldn't be able to just um ask people. Yeah, and take money from people in here. You'd have to do it through them, wouldn't you? Because you're profiting off especially with yeah. tourists because in like Europe where we're from we don't have, like to have a tour around a museum we have to like go through the people like the who, whoever owns the museum we don't go through independent people mm-hmm. so obviously you'll be taking around tours that's not people from Jaipur because they already know and understand do you get what I mean yeah okay apart from it uh, last thing uh, mm-hmm. i will not irritate you anymore uh, after mm-hmm. that So uh, last thing is oh, when you came to India what were you expecting like what were your expectations about India 
I don't know. Then. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> Did you have any expectations? Um, I heard that the people were nice. Friendly. Yeah, really yeah, friendly. Helpful. Yeah, but I don't know. I didn't expect anything in particular. Maybe mm. just like I knew that it was going to be different religions. Because okay. there's not many Hindus in England. So to see that is, and how they live is different, which is good. Mm -hmm. expectation I have. Oh, sorry, I got one more question. <laughs> Last one. How did you get here? Did you contact any travel agency, travel company? Or? No, how how did you get here? Yeah. No, we, if we're studying here, there's still our university. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for being for my small you. channel. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Same here.